Hello everybody, this is Debbie Ina from Teacher Success Coach. Yes, I'm doing another live in the park. You can hear how windy it is. And it is just so lovely at this time of the night. Would you believe how lively this park is? Children are on the swing, they are running about, children are playing football. It's just really nice. As if, you know, this is just seen instead of evening time over here, it is seen as big daytime. You know, with the activity going on in the park. It's just really, really lovely. Anyway, what? Oh, look at how lovely this sky is. Can you guys see the sky? Whoa, there's so many things going on in there. Anyway, there. One of the things I want to talk about today is what is your win? What is this I'm stepping on? Sorry, I've just stepped on something. I don't know what it was. Right. What's your win? When I say your win is what have you done today that you could say yes, it's an aha moment or something that you've done today and thinking yes this is a plus right one of the things for me is my win is i'm alive i've actually got up this morning so it's something to be grateful for as well as it's a big win for me because that's something we need to be give uh, we need to be grateful for in relationship to yes we've actually made it we are alive we're able to enjoy the beauty of life and everything that's happening around us, those are a win and they're also things to be grateful for. Because when we look at win, we don't have to see win as something as a prize given. Win is, you know, you need to change the concept of how you see win and what is win. Win is not always, yes, winning the prize. Win could also be the fact that you're alive, so therefore you're winning. Right? So that is something we need to look at. So it's changing your concept or your mindset about how you define win. For example, as a teacher, if a student actually understands a topic, for me that's a win. Because it's a win for me and for the student. Because the student have actually now understood the area that they didn't understand. So that's a win. It is not something in terms of a prize given, but it's a win because the student now understand it. And for me, it's an aha moment because the student know what I'm talking about. So what I'm saying to you guys is that sometimes we need to, you know, re reassess, not so much reassess, redefine our definition of a lot of words we use it. And we look at it in terms of, okay, what are the plus in those words we use it? in terms of winning you need to see the plus in it you need to see the plus in the word winning so when you're beginning to see the plus in the word winning for you anytime you do something and you know you do something and you something that you were trying to do for a long time then you see that as a win win is not always getting the price to say you come first say you come second whatever winning is where you are now to where you were before so therefore you've actually win on that so for me that's how we need to start seeing winning and not seeing as, oh yes, I come first, so that's a win. No, no, no. The fact that you're alive, that's a big win anyway. That's a win there's no price for. Right? So that's something we need to look at. And as I say, my win today is I am alive and I was able to do so many things. You know, I've started writing again, etc., etc. I'm trying to finish a course I'm writing. So all those are win. Although I have not completed it, but the fact that I am doing it, and I'm on it, it's a win. So therefore, educators, if you guys are looking at my program, what I want you to start looking at is, when you've actually taught a student something, and the student have actually understood it, that's a big, big win. Because a lot of times we teach it, and students don't even know what we're talking about. So if a student is able to understand what you're talking about, and understand the whole concept, the definition, that's a win for you, and a win for the student. So guys, I want you to start redefining the words we using and begin to see the positive in those words you're using and when we are talking about a word like win we need to redefine it and see what is it we are gaining and what's the plus that we are getting from that so when you identify the plus and you see the plus therefore you are going to see that that's a winning thing anyway guys take care stay blessed oh hi Ingrid Hi, Manata. I think that's your name. I might be spelling it wrong, pronouncing it wrong. I don't normally see people who are on my live, so it's fantastic that I'm able to see people today. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for listening and watching, etc. 
and I want you to start redefining the words you use and finding the positive in the words you're using and celebrate the positive you're finding in it. Not always see the word winning as or oh, a prize given. You see it as or oh, prize receiving. You see it as okay, what have I gained from this? So therefore, that must be my win because I could see something tangible from it. Right? So it's a redefinition of the things we see and the things we do. Anyway, guys, take care, stay blessed. Have a fantastic evening, morning, where you are. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Look how beautiful this pack is. Whoa. Nature is so powerful. Not only powerful, nature is so beautiful. Look at that. We take these things for granted, you know, guys. And a lot of people do not have the beauty and see the beauty in it. We need to start looking at the things we, we take for granted and see the winning in those things and see the beauty in those things. Look at that. Look at this beautiful park. It's not raining. It's not snowing. It's just beautiful. Look at that. 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 Anyway, take care, stay blessed, and I'll speak to you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.